He's there. There it is. There we go. Double up. Double up. Double up. Double up. Let's go. Well, we are out here on day two. We are hooked up. Are ready? Just switch to the pink. This is. She a beauty. She seems decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, let's go, bro. We are just hammering them up here. Day two. Let it begin. <laughs> dude, that's a nice one. That's a fatty. It's like the ones from yesterday, dude. Hey boys, we are on the board with at least an 18 inch or 19 inch here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me, a, give me a peek. Give me a peek of that puppy. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Just fat. He hammered me. So, we're using the tuned up 32 inch precision, power precision actually. And uh, just switched from chartreuse to uh, pink and chartreuse, buckshot to glass. Oh man, he just swallowed that. Yeah, it looked like he hammered it. How long was he just sitting on your... Not. He wasn't. He just showed right up. That's what they were doing yesterday. Just a beauty to start this morning off. Go back down. I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. You'll be there. He wants it. Let him really suck it in. He's there. There it is. There we go. There he is. I got you. I got you. I got you. Take your time. Matt, any encouraging words of advice? Nice. It's a keeper, too. It's an under. Oh, have you got it? See ya. See you, buddy. Well, on the phone with the wife, and what happens, Erin? We catch fish! I'm just I his mean, personal guide out here. Fish. We can't say anything too loud. Yeah, we got people that move right next to us. And if you watch this video, it might have been you. If you're on Upper Red in the spot. In the spot. There you go. I got my head. Show to the cameras. Look at, Look at the fins on him. He's don't even have fins. A little short of that. Here we go. Look at that beauty. Um, We've got the iFish Pro up, kids. He's pulling. He's pulling. Close the clasp. Oh, your reel's not. Your reel's not. Done. You got time. You got time. You ain't gonna drop it now. Hold on, pull it up. Pull it up, reel it in. There we go. Take it easy. Keep going. Still got him? There's another one. Right in the side of the mouth, just like you want it. Well done. You can hear it. The wind might be a little tough, but we just missed one inside. Aaron caught it on my stick. So we are out here, day two. We are at the original honey hole we've been in for, last year we got out here, two years ago we got out here, three years ago we were out here, and we are just crushing fish. Um, I've got two myself, 
Aaron has one in the hole, one on the iFish Pro. We've been out here for two and a half hours. I have another one already on me. We're just letting the dead stick ride at the drag fully out. Um, frame is over there with Clifton, 612 Angling. Go check him out. He's going to have a great video coming up too. I mean, we are just hammering fish. It might be kind of a long video or it might be divided up into two videos. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they've got... Frame's got five or six fish alone. I think he's got six fish right now. Kevin's got another three or four. I mean, we're already sitting 15, 20 fish by two first two and a half hours in. It's currently 9.30. Aaron's resetting up the iFish Pro out there. I'm using a pink and green and white glass buckshot. It's been my tried and true the last two years. He's using a green and white tiger glass buckshot. Um, the iFish Pros, I've got a... What? You got one down the hole there? Yeah, I'm trying to get this line down. I am using a lime green eagle claw hook. He's using a dark metallic red eagle claw hook. Um, yeah, we've got three fish topside right now that are coming home. We just got to refill our limit here. We had uh, some nice fish tacos yesterday. So refilling our limit, we get nine today. Uh, we each get our one over. We cooked those up right away last night. We went to West Wind to have some dinner. Fries and fried fish right off the lake as fresh as you can get it. So stay tuned. We still have tomorrow and half to three quarters of a day on Wednesday. We'll see how long we stay out here because uh, Wednesday is our day to go home. So stay tuned. <laughs> Might be a perch. Oh, it could be. He is right on there. Although we haven't caught any today yet. Got there it. it is. It doesn't feel very big. I think it's the same one I literally just caught. to me yeah that's fine he was we, he was there's the same one there's the same one I swear <laughs> there's sort of got is the there's fish. no way is it bigger than 17 more than likely yeah we wouldn't have been able to that's what you call self-release and we are back on oh yeah this is a good fighter huh <laughs> Ooh, easy, 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 buddy. That's a doozy. Get him up the hole here. Come on. Set him up. Oh, just under. I don't know. Pretty close. Well, check his uh, left cheek. And see if he's got that hole mark. <sighs> Came out of nowhere. These glass buckshots, you guys, with this lime green is just going off this year. <sighs> just a beautiful fish. He might be over, which we don't need anymore. Take a quick peek at the size. We need our unders here. He is over, 17 and a half. Nice. Get him back in the water. But we are hammering fish again this morning. Love it. Just hammering fish today. That's a nice one. Was a nice one. That was really nice. <laughs> I had it. You're uh... oh. Keep it pinned. Where's that? No, he's a little guy. Okay, come on. Little guy. That's, that's deceivingly small. <laughs> let me open. Let me open up my bail. Aaron, do you have one on you? I do. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. GoPro, start recording. It's a little guy. <laughs> yeah, he might be a tough guy. Yeah. We'll see. He's probably 14. Uh, stop.
stay on this time. It's a nice eater. Oh yeah. Oh. I hooked my. You got my. You got your deucer on it. You All right, got, I'm going you, back down. You got the ball here. We are hooked up. Hooked up again. Hey, nice. Nice little one. Not great, but nice little one. Yeah. That one's, this one's fatter than the other one. Aaron just pulled up a uh, 14-inch northern. Again. Love that. That's a big one. Is it? That was a big one, dude. It hit my. I barely had it in his mouth. I got one right on me. Dude, you need to get this. This dude was huge. Let's get another minnow and get it down there. This dude is a fucking big boy. Well, we can't use that video. Sorry. He just missed a fish. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got him all the way up to the hole and he hit my vac some fucking oh, plant. That's where I'm gonna go make the chili. Alright. Out taking a pee. And that's how it works, kids. <laughs> that's a nice eater. Nice dude. Nice eater. <sighs> Ooh, he was all right there. Literally was just talking to frame across the pond and uh, said we haven't had a fish in a while and it was dead. And uh, what do you know? Nice little 15, 16 inch eater. Oh, you see. Another one down there. Green again. Switch to a green fire tiger. Just a nice, perfect size eater. Another one? That's, That's a, a good one. Beautiful fish. Oh, oh, it's 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 that pimple on him. That one fucking came out of nowhere. Nowhere. I didn't mark that once. Until it hit. Are you keeping it or not? We'll see. There he is. There he is. That's a nice one. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That is a beauty. That's a good one, dude. Just out there cooking lunch, boys and girls. Look at that, right in the corner. Holy cow. Just a beautiful midday. We haven't had much of anything coming through. But uh yeah, just a really nice fish. My out. Cooking burgers out on the grill, charcoal grill, and he was messing with me just a little bit ago. Figured why not wait, I'll just leave the dead stick and the drag light open. It's a beauty. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah right. You gotta catch it. <sighs> there it is. Oh, just a baby. Right in the show, Jess. Got some length to them too. Let's see it. Oh, fishy, fishy, fishy. Show the wifey the fishy. Oh, yeah. That's a good size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice little keeper, I think. Yeah. Wrapped around the deucer. Sick. Well, it is almost 3 o'clock. The winds are absolutely 
howling. That was a big fish down there, though. Um, fishing is real slow this afternoon. I'm not sure what that was. Oh. Fishing is really slow this afternoon. We're starting to slowly pick stuff up here. Stuff up here. I'm frozen. I just bent outside. This wall here was blowing in, so I had to go put an anchor on the outside and move it around. That's why I'm kind of pinned against the wall. But fish are slowly starting to move in. They're starting to bite. I just missed one about 15, 20 minutes ago. Aaron is starting to mark stuff on the bottom. Um, they're just chilling. This weather took a complete flip. And yeah, we're going to hold it out for another two hours and just see what happens. Good morning. We are on day three. Two and a half. Got a fish on me right now. We got a fish on Aaron right now. Kevin is inside sick. Frame is with him. We decided to come out early and you know, fishing probably for a half an hour to 40 minutes. We both have one lost at the hole already, of course. It is windy. It is cold. <clears throat> and the fish are finicky. Um, we have today. We leave technically tomorrow at noon. We'll see if we can get out and do a little bit of fishing tomorrow morning, but this is uh, this is about what we got. Not much else to do. <coughs> no eye fish pros today for the wind right now because it's howling at like 15 or 16 miles an hour, but, but yeah, we'll see what we get and hopefully for a good day. There we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yep. That's a good one. That'll start the day off real nice. That is a good one. Barely hooked. Wow. Woo. Oh yeah. The dorsal fin right behind. Just Holy a beautiful fish to start the day's uh, day off, guys. The second one. Boom. I don't know if we really want to keep her. Ow, that got stuck. Because, I mean, we do have one over, and we do have one under that we can still get. But, beauty. Just, uh, just a real nice fish to start the just morning off. Just, just beautiful. Pink glass buckshot to start the morning off. Get it, big. Get it. Here we go. He's a hog. Is he? Hog. Keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. On my backs. Here, here, here. This is massive fish. Massive fish, you guys. Can I tighten my... Oh, here you go. Let him rig. Let him rig. I'll have to reach down and grab this one. He is all fucking wrapped up under. I mean, all wrapped up. Here you go. Keep coming. Take it up a little bit more. Just have it done and take it up. You can look over your Nice fish by Aaron. Go show that out to the camera. Tell them what you're using. Talk to the people. Talk to the people. Yeah, boys. Uh, using a lime green glass buckshot with a little uh, orange flick on the underbelly. Nice little beauty right here. Love that. Good day. Good day to have a day. Good 
catch. Oh, I got the right army. Double up, double up, double up, double up. Doubled up. Doubled up. Let's go. Doubled up. Oh, oh he's small. No way. Yours is bigger. Damn. We are doubled up. That is what five or six fish already technically today. Yeah. We've been out here for an hour and a half. <sighs> Can't get mine out. Pink is the hot color today. I think we put the iFish Pro inside because she is uh, just a little windy. We'll bring this right over here. Give him the old squeezer. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Doubled up on the second to last day. Two beautiful little. Yes. What? 17 inches, probably? Oh, flag. 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 Oh, fuck. Flag. Down the hole. Here you go. I have fish pros in here. And we got another one. It's three in the matter of just a couple minutes. Give it time. Oh, yeah, he's bouncing. Oh, that's a massive one, dude. That's another really good one. Holy fuck, bud. And another 20 incher. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ah, shoot. Wow. What a fish. <laughs> so, guys, fishing is on fire again today. Oh my goodness. Three fish in a matter of like five minutes. He swallowed this one. Give him a quick dunk. We'll get him back in and out. There's beauty. Beauty of a fish. Guys, fish are cranking out this morning. Gotta love it. We'll let them grow and let them go. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. Two fish in 20 minutes. I like it. We've got frame in the house in us, with us today because his uh, co pilot out there has got food oh, poisoning. Look at that. He fucking hammered that bitch. <laughs> Oh, 
country music it is today. Aaron, you want to switch clothes now or no? Hold on, dude. Look at that hook set. Oh, yeah. Right in the corner. Right in the corner of it. We're starting to get busy here since 11. Yeah. Feisty. Ever since the second one, country the last music turned on. Two and ten. Mm. Two we're and ten. Fish on. Fish on. Two and ten. Fish on. You. Keep it pinned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The old Wayno. <laughs> oh yeah. He was hot, bro. He smacked it, huh? Yeah. Hit it pretty hard. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, nice walleye. There she is. Ooh, nice walleye. There she is. The color change helped. Yep. Perfect. Nice little one. Really nice. Nice little eater. Ah. Right back down the shoe. This is not the outro we had in mind, but it's going to have to work. We had some sickness fall on the crew uh, Tuesday. We were supposed to leave Wednesday morning or Wednesday afternoon after some fishing, but this is uh, this is the outro we get. Things happen. People get sick. Modify the trip a little bit. We were wishing that we could have done an outro and the beautiful Eskimo well fishing, but this is the way she's gonna go. I figured I'd give you guys just a little peek at what we were using up there. Um, I know a lot of guys claim red, pink, orange, um, even green this year. Um, but we'll jump right in, we'll show you what you've been using, kind of give you a view at the setup here. And yeah, go from there. So, first off, everything that we use is, for dead sticking I should say, is iFish Pro. We don't use a lot of bobbers right next to us. Uh, we throw the iFish Pros probably about 10 or 15 feet next to us, uh, just outside as long as the weather's good. We just use a basic green eagle claw hook and then here I've got the JT walleye snare at 36 inches with a Fluger presidential reel on it. Um, I love it. The only issue that I have is I think I'm gonna end up having to switch to braid because the spooling is so bad on it that when you do get wind or the wind is blowing, it doesn't seem to set the hook right every time. As you saw in the video, I had to redo my line because that exact thing happened. Um, the second one that I have is the Walleye Series Rod from Shields. This one just has a red Eagle Claw hook on it, uh, just super basic. This has been used the last few years we've gone up. I think this is our fourth or fifth year going up um, as a group. This one has a white braid on it and then a five or six foot, probably a little bit shorter now that we've been peeling some off of it, but five or six foot mono on the end of it. Um, it works really, really great. This is a trusty rod. Um, it's got really good backbone to it. Really good backbone. I mean, you can catch, we use it, I've used it for laker fishing too as well. Um, just loosen up the drag and everything, but 30, 36 on this one. My other two rods, a lot of you guys probably use as well. This is a 32 inch tuned up custom precision. Um, perfect walleye fishing rod. Uh, the color that we ended up switching to at the end of the day, if, I don't know if you can see that, but it was just an orange flasher color, um, buckshot. We were using a lime green uh, glass buckshot a lot of the time, um, Aaron was, and then I was using old trusty, uh, we'll just get it mucked actually. So this is new this year too. Um, Clam's nice little rod box. I got all my jigs that hold up both sides. 
Um, got everything from Red Lake to Mille Lacs, Lake of the Woods, all the big lakes, you name it. Um, let's see if I can find it here. This was <clears throat> tried and true for Aaron. Nice little green buckshot here with an orange pinkish underbelly. Um, never used green up there before. This was the first year. Mine was this small little chartreuse bottom pink pipe, pink tiger uh, with white and a red treble. Um, yeah, it, these two were the best ones. We uh, caught a few. I switched over to the chartreuse buckshot. Um, I mean, really anything pink, red, chartreuse, green for whatever reason. This year was going up. I don't know if people use them up there a lot. I've never used them up going up there before, um, but it was a good time. I'll show you here a little bit extra. So we've got the Eskimo 450 XD. Um, I love it. It makes it nice for putting things up. Some new additions that they got this year, if you can see that. It's just an extra little attachment. You can put rod holders on there. You can put your GoPro holders on there. Um, I can clearly stand up in it and I'm six foot and I've got another six inches of room. Uh, I think this one is like 95 square feet of, of fishing, but I like to put it out for two or three days, let everything dry out. The last thing you need is mold after you spend a decent amount of money on, we'll see if we'll get this kickstand to work back again. Um, last thing you need to do is have something mold out on you after after you spend money on it. So um, the electronics that I use is a Humminbird Helix 7 Gen 2. Um, I mean, Markham makes great stuff. Humminbird makes great stuff. Garmin, um, Vexlar, obviously, big ones. And then the last thing I'll show you guys here before we pack up well, is the backpack that I use. I modified it a little bit. Of course, it's a nice little handy rod holder, but I put these two rod holders, I zip tied them in there so that when I am bouncing around or hopping holes, I can grab my two rods that I want, bounce away. It's got tons of storage in here. I can fit all my GoPro stuff, my extra auger battery. Um, it just makes it super easy to store all of your things. It's got a nice big pouch in there. I can fit four tackle boxes in there for summer and winter stuff. Um, I'll just give you a little show here. So double sided. And then double sided as well. I've got dead stick hooks. I've got glow in the dark. I've got all my winter pan fishing stuff in here. And then I've also got all my summer jigs as well, anywhere from quarter inch to, or quarter ounce all the way to full one ounce. Um, the last thing I'll show you here before we, before we close out this video is the auger that I got this year. So I've always been a big believer in propane. Um, I don't like using a lot of battery stuff just because cold weather kills batteries, but um, Kevin convinced me that of course it was a good idea. We do our annual ice fishing, pre-ice fishing trip to Shields every year. Um, maybe start putting that on video and uh, coming next year, but I think this is our third or fourth year. He'll probably correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is, this is just a time that we go, we get a bunch of new stuff that we don't need because you know, we're men and we buy stuff that we don't need. And yeah, so I got the eight inch composite, uh, brand new 40 E40 auger. The really nice thing about this is I have a quick connect adapter here that I can pull this off. And if I can find it, I will show you. I had it in my hands. Oh, here it is. So with hubs like this, you've got to be able to put your anchors in. The nice thing about this is pull it down, lock it in. And as you'll see in my video earlier, it, uh, oh, I don't have a battery in it. Um, this actually anchors for you. Drill in your anchors, pull the anchor attachment back off, pop it in, put it in the pocket, throw the auger back on. It's super simple. I mean, I'm going to do it here in probably 10 or 15 seconds. Um, but, and then you're right back to drilling holes again. Um, it's super easy, it's super convenient. This is getting a little long, but um, yeah. Fishing was fantastic. We stayed in about nine and a half feet of water. We fish out of Waskish. 
uh, west wind pretty much every time. Uh, it seems to hold up with the wind the best. Nothing not knocking JRs, not knocking boondocks, any of those guys on the north and south side, but the east side just happens to stay locked up a little bit more than everybody else. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was Aaron's first time up there, the guy that I fished with, a uh, good buddy of mine. And then Kevin and Framer were in the other house. And yeah, pink, green, in the Eskimo. It's a good trip with a bunch of guys. Hopefully we get another video out here this winter, maybe up on Mille Lacs, maybe try and do an overnight uh, working full time. I mean, it's tough to get out on the weekends and do all that extra stuff when, when uh, the wife wants you at home. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. Um, go give uh, brothers-in-law a look. They uh, won a nice little soup steaks with them this summer. Uh, more one of their hats up there in one of the videos. It's a good buddy from college. Um, him and his counterpart, they're both in law enforcement, uh, both brothers in law and brothers that work in law. So they're a good group. Go check out 612 Angling. Um, he should be coming out with a video here soon if he hasn't beaten me out already with it. Uh, he does one probably three or four videos a year. He's got an upper red from last year and he's got a Mille Lacs overnight trip. Him and I go out fishing all the time together. We work together, so it makes it easy. But until next time, stay safe, you guys. Enjoy the hard water season, and hopefully we'll see you soon.